guys, it's Shot TV Productions, and I'm back here with another video. If you're new to my channel, you already know what to do. Smash the subscribe button, like and comment on any one of my videos, and stay connected. Alright guys, it's a new year. It's a new year, 2022. I'm going to speak it into existence. It's my year, period. And yeah. Alright guys, so today I'm coming here to you, as you guys can see from the title, I'm coming to you with a story time. I recorded this video one time and I don't know where the video went. I recorded it right here in the same spot, but the video disappeared, so I'm doing it over. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be giving you guys a story time of how I lost my shoe on the roller coaster. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And just stay connected. That's all I ask you guys. Stay connected with me. If you're still subscribed, if you're still supporting me, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You know the vibes. Support is free. And that's all I can ask for. And yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Why is it leaning? needs to be straight okay there we go so okay guys so where do i even start off all right so it was summer of 2021 and i took uh i wouldn't call it a last minute trip but literally jolie was like oh we out to florida and i was like i right, we out we out we out so we went we went to florida we went to orlando florida make sure you go check out those vlogs when we went to universal studios and islands of adventure and just just check out that vlog make sure you're tuned in so that you can know the backstory of why i'm talking about it now so we got to the park whatever first of all we literally got off the flight we took an early flight and we got to like orlando like probably like 10 10 something and literally we put our bags down and jolie was like we out to the park i'm like girl can we can we can we can we rest like a little bit can we take like a like a little breather like dang like if you know jolie like jolie is like she got too much energy and i'm just like girl like we just got off a flight like i know it wasn't that long but sheesh but we get to the hotel and we literally put our bags down and if you go back to that vlog that i put you can see us literally coming off the um the flight or i did i don't remember if i record me being on the flight but i remember us getting to the room and like her saying like yo we out like we out to the park so we ended up getting full we get to the park now and what day was that was that the second day or first day i think it was the second day so i think the first day we went to universal studios and then we, the second day we went to islands of adventure because you have to break down the park like that like you you gotta break down the park like that like i don't think if you are that type of person that will do a lot of rides on one day you have to get up really early but we broke it down because we were there for so long and we we were even able to like go back to the park again because of our past that we had from the hotel so we get to the park on the second day so we're at islands of adventure and with me i'm the type of person that i will look up the rides before i go to the park like i'm gonna make sure that i can see when it drops when it spins all that good stuff because i'm not with none of those surprises like i don't like that i don't i don't like that and i know myself and i know that i will catch a heart attack and if no one's there i know myself like if i pass out are you gonna be able to revive me so you gotta think about that when i be telling y'all y'all be thinking i'm joking or i'm day room and i don't want to do this and i don't want to live my life no i know myself and when i know myself i know myself my intuition speaks to me highly and i trust my intuition all the time so yeah my intu my intuition never failed me yet so yeah let's keep that straight so yeah so um i did that before we got to orlando like i did it beforehand i looked it up whatever and i wrote down like the list of um rides that i was gonna go on because i'm like i gotta be prepared so we get there whatever and we're doing the rides and stuff and we got to one of the rides and i, I told jolie i'm like i'm not doing that ride like that ride was not on my list it was not on my list so i'm not doing it She's like, whatever, da, 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 da. So we're walking through the park, and we get to that part of the, um, that section of the park, because the park is broken down into, like, themes. So, like, there was, like, the, the Jurassic Park section, 
we have the um cat in the hat section like i really like how they did it like it was based on like the like the movies the shows and stuff like that i like i like it was cool i like the theme so shout out to universe studio shout out to islands of adventure park shout out to y'all because you guys did that like i would dead go back again like orlando's a vibe too orlando's very calm miami was for my first time being in miami it was cool but i like orlando like orlando's the type of vibe where it's like chill vibes like it was chill but we get to that section of the park and of course it's in jurassic park and for um that ride like the line was very long like it was very long so we're getting up there and i'm like why are we walking over here like i'm gonna put if i find clips i'm gonna put the clips in here of when i was showing you guys me us walking to the park or walking to that section of the park or walking to that ride like i'm gonna i'm gonna include everything so don't worry about it i'm gonna include if i have it i will include it so um we get to that section of the park and i'm watching like you know like when you walking past and you see people on the ride already and i'm just like yo i'm not going on that like i'm not going on that like you cannot influence me to go on that however she did she influenced me to go on that ride and we get on the line and i'm like yo my like my friggin chest my heart is about to like my heart like pumping on my pumping it was pumping like it was pumping like i wanted to turn back so bad but i'm like i'm like yolo right but then i'm like she really influenced me to go on this ride like i said i wasn't going already so how she influenced me to go on the ride so we get on the line whatever and it's our turn to go whatever but the way how the ride is set up you can't bring no phones you can't wear sh like they didn't say you couldn't wear shoes and that's the part that i didn't like because and it's funny because that day i should have worn my crocs but i didn't wear my crocs i wore my other slippers that i'm going to show you that i lost mind you i just got it from sheen i did a sheen haul and everything just got the slippers it's my first time wearing the slippers and i'm gonna lose the slippers but um we had to like get a locker and like put our stuff in a locker because we couldn't bring anything on the ride that's how dangerous the ride is like they they have like a whole warning thing of like you can't bring nothing on the ride good thing i got um four locks because if it was if it was a wig that i had before that was not secure it was it was coming off it was coming off on that ride i, I swear on everything i love it was coming off on that ride because the ride was wicked but this is where it gets a little crazy now why um we get on the ride whatever and i'm like i'm like praying because i'm like oh my god like oh my god she really got me to go on this ride so we get on the ride whatever but the way of the ride i'm i'm not short but i'm not tall either i'm average my feet was not touching the ground it was not touching the ground okay it was not touching the ground it was not touching the ground okay and usually my foot touches the ground so i was confused but it was not touching the ground ride starts whatever and um my shoe is like you know like when your shoe is like you know like when like your shoe your your shoe is on your foot but like it's low key's like sliding off and it's like at the edge and you're trying to like move your move your toes so that they can come in that's how it was if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about like you'll have your foot like you'll have your shoe like let me show you so like ugh. you would have oh you would have your shoe like like this and then you'll use your toes to like bring it in like that right till it gets in and then you're able to go like this so yeah we there whatever and i see my shoe do that and i'm like oh i'm trying to get it but mind you i still can't touch the floor so i'm like huh so then i'm i'm like jolie i'm like jolie my shoe get my shoe pass my shoe pass my shoe because i felt like it was about to fly off like I felt it. I was like, bro, not me about to lose my shoe and have to walk around the park with no shoe. Like I'm like, I was that was about to blow my whole day. Bro. I'm trying to get my shoe. My shoe flies off, but it goes onto her side. So I'm like, Jolie, get my shoe. I'm like, get my shoe, Jolie, get my shoe. Like, get my shoe. Please get my shoe. And if I'm if I'm smart enough, I will um I'm a, I'm gonna put Jolie like I'm gonna tell you from Jolie's like her experience too like what she had to do like I'm about to call her.
I'm gonna call her a little bit. I'm gonna let her tell you. <laughs> she not answering. But more of the story is she could not get my shoe. She could not get my shoe and I was getting so mad. I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to lose my shoe on this ride. I was so livid on the ride. Like, literally, I was so scared to go on the ride that the fact that I was trying to get my shoe on the... Mind you, the ride has started already. Oh, she's coming back. Hello? What's up, girlfriend? Um, so I'm doing a story time right now, right? And I need you to tell the people, like, I wanted to do a video, like, with you, like, showing, like, you know face to face of like how um like you expressing it but i couldn't wait so tell the people how i lost my shoe in the park tell them tell them oh my god tell them going through this shit again? tell them please tell them tell them how it happened tell them how you could not help me tell them i couldn't help you my legs and arms are short what did you want me to do <laughs> Tell them how I didn't want to go on the ride and you influenced me to go on the yeah, ride. Because you had to. There was no way they're going to have that new roller coaster open in Jurassic Park and we not do it. You crazy? <laughs> you were better off going there barefoot. Uh <laughs> Girl. I even got her a, a slipper necklace to commemorate her shit. We didn't get there yet. We didn't get there yet. We didn't get there. But we didn't get there yet. But she's wicked for that. I lost my shoe on the ride. Like I'm, ta I'm tapping the girl. I'm like Jolie, get my shoe. We're not doing. I'm like Jolie, get my shoe, please get my shoe. I couldn't get your shoe. My legs and arms are short. It was pretty much a high speed. Now say what? Like say literally lost in a corner where I couldn't get to it. Tell them what the guy said. Tell them what the guy said. The funny part was that when we got off the ride, there was a guy and a woman in front of us, and he's like, "Was that the thing that we saw flying across her face?" And like, "Yep, that was." Mind you, shoe. that's my whole shoe. My whole shoe is probably in the water. Water. And the funny thing is, was when the operator said that, "Oh, they'd be finding wigs, hats, shoes, and everything from that ride." Yo. Never again with this girl. I would go back though. She would have decided to join the thread of things that people lost. My new shoe. My new shoe at that. Yeah. It was cute too. <laughs> You're petty. But thank you. I needed you to tell them so they don't think I'm lying. Like. Huh? No, I said I need you to tell your part how you couldn't help me because I really could not get I my shoe. Help you because the ride was going mad fast and there were, like, there were a lot of corners and dips. And it kept like it was, it was like in my corner for like a whole half of the ride, and then it just and flew it off. I think it was when we went, um, when we got to the major big drop. It was by the water. It was by the water. My shoe was in the water. <laughs> my shoe was in the water. It like the water was mad deep too, so there was nowhere gonna be able to, to retrieve it. Thank you, thank you, appreciate there it. There was no way you would have been able to retrieve it. I appreciate, no I, I appreciate it. Thanks. You're very welcome. <laughs> Whatever. It's still not fun. You know that I think about it. You couldn't even enjoy the ride. You didn't know what even I didn't even know what happened. Like, literally, we're done, and I'm just like, my shoe is gone. Like, I'm going to have to walk through the park with no shoe for the whole day. That's going to blow me. I have a whole picture of you looking. Oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna insert it. I'm going to insert it, guys. I'm going to insert it. I'm going to insert it. Oh, you have it on your phone still? It's blurry, but I'm going to still put it in. Listen, because I remember no, I, we was pointing to it. You didn't even know what happened on the ride. You were so. I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel no drop. I didn't feel no spin. I didn't feel nothing. Nothing. That's what we're gonna have to do around two. <laughs> <laughs> now I would do we a round two though. Two for that ish. I would do a round two. Islands of Adventure. I would do it again. Or and it was such a dope roller coaster too. It was so much fun. I would do the park over. I don't know about the ride. Thank you for telling them how I couldn't retrieve my slipper. I thought that it was like, like, to be honest, it was a whole lost cause. It was a whole lost cause. An entire lost cause. It's all good. You'll be alright. It's all good. Yeah, you'll be alright. Mm hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But yeah, guys, like, it was so crazy. Like, she went into more detail. I don't think I got there yet. 
but literally like I was on the ride and I was like before I even got on the ride I was scared to go on the ride because of the drops that I've seen in the video but as I got on the ride and all of this is happening I was literally stuck like I was stuck didn't feel a thing from the ride nothing like it was crazy like it was really crazy like the shoe flew off my foot it flew off like on some like I was so livid then we get off the ride now right and I'm like my shoe my shoe so we go off now and we see the worker and he's like um they they give me slippers by the way but the slippers was like a size 13 size 12 I'm like better than nothing but damn like y'all don't have no other size it was like they ran out of slippers but um he's like you lucky it's just a slipper because we be seeing wigs and all that stuff fly off. I'm like, yeah, see, you lost me. That's why I made sure I did not wear no wig because I'm not going to be the one walking around the park with my Meek Mill braids. Are you dumb? Like, you lost me with that. I'm like, nah, like, but me losing my shoe, though, like, and it's funny because I sent a text um before I got on the ride. And I'm like, bro, I dead don't want to go on this ride. And my into see, my intuition never fails me yet. It told me not to go. It told me not to go and I failed my intuition and I went on the ride and karma was just like, boom lose your shoe it was a cute shoe too you know shout out to sheen because it was a cute slippers it was a cute slippers but i was just like so mad i'm like i could that was such a nice slipper and i was like every other day i wore my crocs but today i didn't wear my crocs i wore this slipper i'm like where was i going literally that same day we go you know how like they have the, ju the jewelry shops or like the shops where you can go get like something the souvenirs and stuff jolie got into the shop and she seen a necklace and it said it was blue and my favorite color is blue and it was literally shaped like how like I'm gonna insert a picture of it because I still have the necklace it literally says um I think it says Orlando or it says Florida on it one of them and it's literally shaped like how my shoe was and um she got that from me as a remembrance. she was like oh now every time you think of Orlando um or of the Universal Park you'll think of your slipper I'm like that's petty like thank you but no thank you because that's petty that's petty but i'm just like me losing my shoe like i was like what are the odds like it's always me like something's always happening to me like who goes to a park and loses their shoe like their shoe on a roller coaster though and it's funny because for six flags here they don't even they usually tell you like do they usually tell you to take off your shoes? But for that ride, they should have told us, like, they should have had a section where you could leave your shoe and stuff like that. Because I would have left my shoe in, like, the little cubby things. But they didn't have that. So they should have said that. Like, because then I would have had my shoe. But then again, it, I'm not only blaming them because I shouldn't have worn that shoe. I should have worn my Crocs. But if I was to lose my Crocs, I would have been dumb tight because I'm like, bro, that's OD. But this is the story time of me losing my shoe at Universal Stu um, Studios Park. In Orlando Florida the lesson for today was um if your intuition is telling you not to do something don't do it because that you'll end up in a situation like me and you don't want to lose a shoe you don't want to lose a wig you don't want to lose any of those stuff so make sure you follow your intuition at all times okay guys so I hope you guys enjoy this little story time it's not you know that juicy but it's interesting because who loses their shoe like that was so embarrassing like and then for the people to be like oh that's what flew above us I'm just like that's funny like <laughs> that's funny like that's not funny because I could not I could not retrieve my shoe like I literally was fighting with fighting to get my shoe and I couldn't reach I couldn't reach it and then it was gone we even tried to look after the park. They told us to come after the park or the next day to see. I'm like, bro, I'm not coming back the next day to see if my freaking shoe is probably in lizard piss and in the water and stuff. I don't got time for that. But I was like, damn, my shoe, like, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment on this video. Tell me if you ever have ever had a crazy experience like this or even worse. Let me know. What was your craziest craziest experience at a um a theme park, whatever park, water park, whatever? Just comment down below because I feel like this is this is what happens. Like this is why I don't do rides. Like I'll do rides, but this is why I don't do that many rides because stuff like this be happening and I don't got time. Like that literally if I was to lose my shoe and I couldn't I had to walk around the park with one shoe or like no shoes, I would have went home. Like I would have went back to the hotel and I would have been livid the whole day. Like that's the type of person. Like that would have got me so tight where I didn't want to do anything for the day, for the rest of the day. 
So, thankfully, I thank God that they gave me slippers, but... Yeah, that was petty. <laughs> it was petty, but... This is my story time of how I lost my shoe at the park. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. Stay connected. And we out of here.